Hello. Welcome to Three Guys Podcast, episode seven. Number brought seven. To, brought to you by Nanakusa. Of course. With myself, Dylan, as you know, and Fraz. And myself, Fraz, yes. Fraz, as you also know, and... Nope, he's not here. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I think it's it's probably gonna gonna be a bit time that Three Guys Podcast does a, a bit of um restructuring in order to make make sure that we are we are a three guys podcast, not the two guys podcast. Yes, this is the third time in a row. Third it's been time. Just the two of us. Third time in a row, so uh shame on us really. We did have some backups lined up just in case uh Andrew couldn't make it today, but uh due to his circumstances he's he's unable to he's unable to, to, to come in. So we can't really expect a commitment for someone that's got as many, as, as many issues uh, going on just now as Andrew, which is fair enough. But we'll uh, hopefully next time we'll we'll have some special guests on, Mister Mister Lawyer Omar, perhaps yes, uh, Mister David Griffin in IT, maybe in IT. Who yes. knows? Maybe we've got we've got a few people lined up. But uh, as for now, you're gonna have to stick with myself and Fraz. Yes. Uh, for for the the third week straight, which you know what. I think a lot of people were calling for that. They were saying that we, we've ha- we've heard from Andrew and we're sick and tired of his of his voice. And I was like, I agree fully. I can't stand the guy, as you all know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but when we left you last time, we were on our way to the vegan leather gig. Vegan, yeah, uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, myself, Fraz, and Becca. Yep. Fraz, it was your first time. Yes, it was my first time, um, and I said that I was only going to have one drink, didn't I, Dylan? You did, you I did. said, uh, how many How many drinks did I have in the end, Dylan? Uh, it wasn't that many, it was like five, or I think it was about five, five, five so, pints. So uh, if one was 100%, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was 500%. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> so I, he said he would have one, to be fair, and I managed to get him up to five, so that was, it was good. Yes, no, no, it was a, it was a cracking night, and yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it was really good, there was some uh, really good uh, performance actually was it um one thing i did say last time was i uh, look forward to warm-up bands uh, because it's, it's always like a little bit more new kind of stuff and uh Good. there was some there was actually a few people caught my eye actually and they were really good but Overall, vegan leather really fucking good. Yeah, I'm surprised you even you even got to pay attention to it because I was jumping about so fucking much. <laughs> yeah. I was so drunk so quickly. Yes, we were. We Five were. pints to me. I'm what, what people like to call a half pint. I'm a, a smaller, smaller gentleman. We were uh, grew up at the front. <laughs> we were right up at the front. Right up front. That's what you have to do. And uh, I was jumping. I was actually jumping higher than Fraz. Fraz, we actually had this debate with andrew the other day like how tall you are i said you're about I six, have no six idea. one i don't even know but uh he was seemed convinced you were six two and a half and a half was like i don't know why <laughs> so specific he's like five ten and you are bigger and i think beck is taller than andrew as well isn't he maybe she's isn't just she, under sorry. me she, yeah yeah so yes. beck is about must be about six foot as well five eleven six i don't know i was it one thing i think um a lot of guys will admit this in a relationship. There's uh, details you should know, but you don't know. Yeah. So you just rely yeah. on the other one to have it. Yeah, so yeah. I leave Becca with the, the heights. With the heights, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm only like 5'7", so I'm I'm small. I'm compared to you and Becca. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept 7 then. I look like your child. <laughs> child. Um, so it was funny. I was jumping in between yeah. you two guys, going mental. If I'm ever going to see them again, I want Omar to be there as well. I want to see... Yeah, I want to see you used to at it. I was carrying the banner for Omar really because he uh, he's usually the one that gets really drunk and then goes up to the band members like, "Oh, you guys are so sweet, you're really cool." But then uh, I took it upon myself to be that guy because uh, yes. uh, Omar wasn't there, so I had to I had to represent the band, be the fan girl for the two of us. So my energy was doubled, my intensity was doubled, yes. <laughs> which anyone that's been around me in that state probably knows isn't the best thing. But I mean, I had fun. So. No, was it? Uh... Obviously, you introduced me to the main vocalist. Yeah. When I actually spoke to him, no, he seems like he seems like a cool guy. Yeah. Seems like cool. Well, actually, the whole lot of them seem like a decent guy. Yeah, yeah, they're yes. they're all pretty sweet. Yes. Yeah, so. uh, I mean, I've, I've, that's the most I'd actually spoken to anyone because again, I usually just let Omar do the speaking for me. Um, well, I must have been in your shoes. I let you do all the speaking. Yeah, I yeah. Kind of thin, uh, I spoke a lot as well. Fuck it out. But we, yeah, we all got a t-shirt. I yes. Got, got one for Omar. Got one for myself. Have you told? Becky got a wee badge. Oh, I don't need to start with the badge. Oh, what's happening? Did, did you not see? No. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, so, uh, they were... Um, she properly did me, actually. Uh, so, <laughs> I said to Becca, do you want a badge? She pulls... You know that when she says... When they say no. But they want But it. then they give you that face of, but I do. Yeah, and yeah. And then you go, come on, just tell me, do you want it? You get that kind of, yeah. no. But you're like, 
but I do. <laughs> you're like, oh, but I do. So, you need to guess. So the guy's like, right, I'm just doing it. So I went over and I went, I right, can I get a badge and all that shit? And they're like, oh, which one? Now, I, at this point, I assumed there was only one. Yeah. I thought, the badge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, so, I, can um, I have the badge, please? Can I have the badge? So they're like, oh, you have a selection of four. So I was like, ah, that's key. So I went to the back, oh, which one do you want and whatnot? And then uh, Beck's like, oh, what point of that one? And then one of the guys took the badge mm. and uh, I think I was in my wallet or something. Now, I didn't know that they gave Becca the badge. Yeah. So I paid her the money and whatnot and then I was just kind of standing there like an absolute <laughs> idiot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just no. standing there looking at her. And, and then she was like, uh, is there anything else in that? I was like, uh, did you? But luckily enough, I never accuse. I never accuse. So yeah, I, yeah. I just went, did you give us the badge? And then she went, uh, yeah, I think uh, your missus has any. I turn around to Becca, big smile on her face, holding the badge. And I'm just like, oh, oh she's done you again. And I, was like, I was like, sorry, sorry. I just didn't see it. Like, no, no, you're all right. You're all right. I was like, oh, I'm a tit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's horrible when shit like that happens. Yeah. Like, you just feel like such a fucking knob and you're standing like, oh, yeah. God damn it. But uh, no, overall, it was a really good night. Um, I'm kind of glad I went. Very yeah. glad I went. Yes. Yeah, they're fucking epic so you should check them out the vegan leather <laughs> i've done it <clears throat> now obviously this is all in uh this is all in good uh good sport and all good laugh and whatnot but i've been uh winding up dylan lately actually and uh me and him are both victims to this and it's really annoying but obviously that was it when i'm doing yeah, it about yes him. dylan knows Clocked on now. dylan knows i'm taking the piss and whatnot and uh, obviously you can tell by the last podcast I'd never heard of these ba this band before. There's two people in particular where um, Dylan's present, and I'll say, "Oh, you guys need to listen to this band." I've <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just totally taken glory know, for finding like, this band. Yeah. Oh, you heard the vegan leather? They're really sweet. Oh, yeah, I found them the other week there, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah. yeah. So uh, I've done. <laughs> obviously, you weren't best chuffed. Yeah. But, well. Um... But is not, but I tell you what, that does touch on the point that it's really annoying when people do that. Yeah, it is really annoying when certain people do that. Adam! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, uh, certain people taking ownership over things that I've found. Uh, <laughs> it does my fucking head in. Uh, I've, I've, I've had uh, I've had that in the past and it's just, it's just like, why? No, I know. I don't, I don't. I don't understand it myself. Yes, there's no glory. Yeah. <laughs> there's no glory. <laughs> well, of course, we have a few things to touch on today. That was the end of the gig. Of course, yes. we were hit by the beast from the east. Oh, and the rest. <laughs> yeah, uh, and more after that. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Because we haven't in the past two weeks done our weekly comments. Because oh. we've, we've had to reshuffle the show uh, in lieu of Andrew not being present. So we're kind of... We, we're a bit more prepared today, so we've got we've got a the comments bit, yes. comments set up. So, uh, Fraz, would you like to do the honors? Apparently, there's one that's I don't, apparently I I'd don't, be really interested in this one. I don't want to. You don't want to. Always. I don't want to. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to. I'd love to hear well, what the, 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 the well, well, person has to say. We'll call this person Mister Nichols, okay? Okay. Now he uh, he was interested in that when I said, "Oh yeah, we did the podcast," and he was, "Oh yeah, he was. I'll leave it a listen." I'll give him. So he started listening to the first one now. To me, the first one was good, but obviously the first one was more. We we didn't know what we we're doing as much as now. We're yeah, a little bit yeah. more. We're a little bit more comfortable. It, yeah. Uh, and more whatnot. Relaxed. And uh, so he, he gave the first one I listened to, and he seems to, the comment basically just says he thinks you sound American. I sound and American. I don't actually see it. I sound American. Now, so the, there was the other comment. You know, the posh one. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I, I can see that. Oh, yeah. Glad. I can see, you know, when it's like someone says, you're like, all right, I can see a lot of that. I don't see the American part. I do so, not see it one bit. So is there anyone from your work that has a comment that isn't to do with my fucking voice? <laughs> I do it the best I can. <laughs> much, gave, much gave a comment that wasn't about your voice. Um... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Mudge. Was he Mudge. gave me a nickname, didn't he? Oh no, no, Mudge. No, that's not. Oh one. Mudge. Oh yeah, yeah that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the... Oh, she's cool. She's cool. Oh do? yeah. Oh yeah. She gave us the the school comment. Yeah, yeah that was cool. That yeah, was she's cool. cool. But apart from that, Mudge, yeah, <laughs> yeah. apart from that, everyone <laughs> taking pot shots at you. Yeah, I know. It's just like, oh yeah, that guy's a dick. Oh, yeah, fuck me. I, I work with dicks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I started my my work's holiday just now, so. I was hoping we'd get this done a bit earlier and have a bit more energy, but the way that things have panned out, Fraz had some shit he had to deal with before, yep. so uh, he was he was held in a bit longer, and uh, obviously trying to 
trying to see if if Andrew's uh, Andrew's situation will allow him to to come in. Yes. Fortunately, fortunately, it wouldn't. So uh, we we kind of pu- pushed it back. Went to Seawoo though today, which is <laughs> Asi- our Asian supermarket, which yes. is, is amazing. It's strange smells. Yes, as you walk in there, it's like fish and sort of weird fruit and veg and stuff. Uh, but me and Fraz managed to get two forty packet. Uh, boxes of instant noodles. Yes. Indomie noodles, which are fucking amazing. Look at was it? Uh, now, we were looking for lucky. Oh, was it? I was looking for lucky cats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. was it? I'm, uh, I want a proper good one. You know how you can buy them really cheap plastic yeah, ones? Yeah, yeah, I want ones. one of the proper ones. Yeah. I just. They normally have stuff like that, but uh, for some reason today they were all gone. There was one. Was there? Yeah, there was one white one. Oh, right. But I was like, nah, that's alright. Oh, I didn't even know. And there's no that. price tag on it. And I shouldn't be spending. Should yeah, be yeah, yeah. You should be saving. <laughs> should be saving. <laughs> I was like, right, I, I should be saving. I should be saving. Oh, 40 years. Right, yeah, sure. Was it? We need food. We need food. Ooh, that looks like a good walk. Yeah, <laughs> Come on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, to be fair, that's going to uh, help you in the long run. Yes, as long as someone doesn't need metal scours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of when things that are non stick do not use a metal scour on <laughs> that was a message from three guys podcast yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man this message is sponsored by three guys podcast and also sponsored by nana kusa <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. still looking for that part. <laughs> we're just, just still looking for that uh, sponsorship but um you know what i think we'll crack on with uh what happens after after the vegan leather gig yes because uh it's that we've actually had a birthday uh since the last podcast Oof, is that where we're going <laughs> yeah it was uh Fraz's oh I, you know i was at work the other day and then i said <laughs> you know what? oh it's funny being 26 and then i was like that just sounds wrong yeah that doesn't come out of the mouth right yeah, yeah. 26 you're like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how does it feel being 26 years old um <sighs> you're finally closer at 30 than you are 20 yeah but uh <laughs> it's, if, 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 you, if you say uh to me, 26, the only thing that keeps me going is, uh, now you're a man, yeah, now you're a man, a man, a man, a man, a man, a man, a I kept saying at work, and just, everyone's like, shut up, <laughs> now you're a man, man, yeah, but now it was, I'm just like, yeah, but 26, you can't kid, you're young, yeah, so, uh, so you're, the only thing that keeps me going, now you're a man, I'd yeah, say so you're an adult now, really, yeah, there's no, no holding back, I'm sort of young adult, you're just an adult, oh, I hated that at school, What's that? You're a young adult. No, you're like I'm fucking adult. sixteen. No, you should be wearing a tie. A tie. Oh, I never, I never wore a tie at school. Yeah. No, I, I had one like pre-done, and then I just reused Everyone it. Everyone else done that. I used it every day. <laughs> never tied it in the morning because I was like, yeah, this is like witchcraft. How do you do this? Oh no, no, same. Um, but anyway, I think we should say today's theme is weather. It is the weather it's because the weather. It has been shit. we have been struck by uh, some horrendous, well, not by most country standards, but for our country, Britain in general is just a place where if there's a little bit too much snow too quickly, everything shuts down. It's which not is, even that. It's just a tiny bit of, if there's any excuse to stop something, they'll stop it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just like stop working. Like you get places like, uh, like Siberia and stuff and it's like minus however much and like you can actually like pour water out of a glass there and it'll be ice by the time it hits the ground it's like insane so yeah. they, they still get along they get on with their work there's somewhere I can't remember uh, exactly where it was but like you couldn't get a day off school until it was like minus 33 or something insane like that Yeah. so it's like Jesus Christ like that is like it was minus 4 I think the max for us but it felt like minus 7 yes because the wind chill but Basically, all, all like we actually st- it started whilst we were at the gig. Yeah, it was well, snowfall. It started, but it wasn't like it wasn't. Was it too? Bad? You didn't think it was going to get that far, eh? You were like, oh, it's just be a little tick on the ground. Yeah, it was alright. And then I got up for work. At ha- I got up at half past six in the morning. Fuck that shit. Continue. <laughs> and I looked outside, <laughs> and my car was buried in about six inches of snow. And I was like, okay, driving a BMW. If there's just even the smallest amount of snow or ice or anything. It's uh, it's game over. It's it, yes. you will skid everywhere. You can't move because uh, it's rear wheel drive. It just it just does not handle yeah. snow or ice or or too much wetness my, at um, all. It's horrible. My friend actually he uh, he has a B and W. I remember he actually bought one of these little crappy cars. Yeah. And uh, his wording 
crappy car. That's yeah. what we know it as the crappy car. And uh, I think he bought it for two hundred pounds, and yeah. it was just for for snow, yeah, for snow, for ice, for that. Because just the BMWs. I mean, it's a light, nice car, but it's just yeah, they're just terrible. They, well. just, they they cannot cannot do snow at all. No, they can't. <laughs> um, which is not ideal. So in the end, I had to. I went to the to the train station. I noticed there's no buses, there's no taxis, there was nothing. It was complete standstill on the motorway. So I, I walked down to the train station and I was told like he could sell us a ticket but he couldn't guarantee they would be on so he, he was reluctant to. So then they cancelled the trains. So I start work at 8 and it's 22 8 and then I looked and he was like oh it could be 45 minutes, could be an hour till the next train and then I looked. I was with uh, another one of my workmates who lives nearby and it was it was like 45 minutes to walk to my work and yeah. I was like all right well I guess I'm walking then uh, so I ended up walking it took an hour to get there because it was like proper blizzard conditions it was horrible uh, and I made it to work for about nine nine o'clock so it was an hour late but I mean did you get told off or initially right? when I walked in one of the people that I work with shouted out uh, what time do you call this but uh, really not not in a nice way like a very very aggressive way and then I was like okay well they leave about a, 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 like I get up at half six, they leave at about half six because they live further away than I do. Yeah. And uh, bef like at that time, the buses were still on and stuff like that. But obviously by the time I need to leave, uh, it's like a full hour later. And in that time, they'd closed everything. So they didn't understand why I wasn't in on time until they came out at break and realized how bad it was and realized they'd put out like the red weather uh, warning. Sorry. And uh, they were like, all right. And they kind of softened up after that. I was like, I fucking walked. <laughs> I walked an hour here. I walked like three miles. Uh, no, who, who the fuck else are all right, just going to walk it? Like, they're a bunch of lazy bastards. At least I made the fucking effort. No, yeah. Uh, was it? A lot of people are just uh, like five, you know, five minutes till they're meant to be in and going, yeah, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. You know, that is the typical standard for young people just to yeah. go, oh, yeah, commitment. Pah. Yeah. yeah. So but I walked it. So I walked in. Uh, and in the end it, it was about half I normally finish at half three and it was about half two uh, the manager came down and said right just finish up and let's get out of here because uh, we, we can't guarantee it's going to get worse or not yeah if it's yeah. going to get any better if it's going to get worse and it did get worse in fact a bunch of people at my work ended up having to get a hotel with the manager because they couldn't get home but they have to pay out their own pocket or? Uh, I don't think so I think they, I hope the company covered it I don't I know hoped. I don't know because I've not been in since because I was meant to be in the next day, but the red weather lor the little warning. I got a bit tongue, you, you, tongue twisted. You just don't there. want to say that, do you? <laughs> red weather lor red <laughs> red weather warning. There it's, we it's, are. it's strange seeing someone else. Yeah, red, <laughs> red weather warning was um, was still out. So I just said, "There's no chance I'm going in" because it was like there was so much snow over the night. Uh, it was going to be the same thing. I'd have to walk again, and uh, lucky I didn't go in because no one messaged us to say there was nothing going on. But then uh, no one else went in, basically. Yeah. Uh, because it was just, it was horrendous. It was, it's the worst I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, but fair. to be fair, was it the, the weather condition that was, it was a bit kind of like, right, stuff was happening. Yeah. But I think the, the thing, obviously, most people don't understand about Britain is if there's a tiny bit of bad weather, you know, it will, um, it, everything will just stop. Yeah. Like, for example, the banks where I live, uh probably i'd say day two of the bad weather it was open and uh then it it just got basically it's got better and better and better and then i looked at one of the signs they put up in the thing and then it said oh because of the weather we're gonna have to shut and all that and you're like you went there during when it was really bad but then yeah. when it got better and better it was shut you're like what are yeah, you doing? I know. It's just so any stupid. excuse to oh, banks especially any excuse to yeah, just not any out. excuse to go uh, banks and teachers Hmm. the first people to be basically like right we we can't go in yes yeah, like, oh no it's it's terrible here it's like uh, it's like the fucking antarctica out here we can't go second wave says uh, bus drivers yeah. <laughs> bus and uh, trains hmm. the second wave <laughs> but the thing is like i i obviously i walked in and i was pretty happy with that i was like you know i've, I've soldiered in stuff like that knowing that fraz and becca were at my house <laughs> uh whilst i was walking in i was like there's no way they're getting home um, but then obviously Fraz has to go and outman me by, by miles. So uh, yes. what what happened uh, for you that morning? So uh, my, my side of the story. <laughs> so uh, I awoke upon uh, Winter Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, I'm obviously getting up a lot later than Dylan. So obviously the snow's laid a little bit more. So 
I must have got up at like 11-ish. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so I got back up and uh, we were, uh, Dylan's mum nicely said to us, you know, we, we can stay here and whatnot. But uh, I was just like, uh, no, I better get to work. My boss will be fucking furious <laughs> if I'm not there. So uh, we uh, ventured down to the, the, the train station and whatnot. And uh, there was trains after trains getting cancelled, getting cancelled. And there was a Sterling train. Then that got cancelled. Like, All right. And then uh, slowly but surely more and more people started crowding around. You know, cancel, cancel. And then I think loads of people actually went to try and get buses. And then the third train, uh, Becca's like, well, what should we do? And I was like, well, I was like, well, we're going to just have to have to just hope for the best. Mm. Eventually, an Inverness train, Stacey said, right, platform three. So we're like, right, good. And then it was just like, all these people, they went for buses. Yeah. And then we we're like, oh, no. So we got on the train. We got there. Uh, we got back into, um, we got back into uh, Stirling. Yeah. Um, we started walking towards the car. Becca slipped and <laughs> oh, fell on her God. arse. Yeah. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Becca's not too happy about this, but I'm just sitting there dying like, oh yeah, my yeah. God. So I'm laughing away and whatnot. Everything's, everything's fine. Well, yeah. not for her. She's falling on her arse. Yeah. <laughs> so done that. And then we're heading, starting heading towards the car and uh, she slipped again. Now, this one wasn't so funny. She actually hit her head off the off a wall, oh, and I was nice. like, "Oh shit!" So uh, I got her to the car and just made sure she was all right. She was all right, but it was one. Obviously, you turn around and then you see, and you're like, "Right, that's not so funny." Yeah, no, that's you more know? of a serious incident. Falling on your arse, thats hilarious. But yeah, hitting your head. So I got her back. She was all right, and uh, I had to text my boss and uh, I had to get a lift in with him and a big Land Rover into my work. He yeah. was in the middle of nowhere. And uh, you, you get there and uh, you basically say to the customers, you're like, right, we've not had supplies and obvious reasons. We're going to have to limit the menu down. But then they're just, I don't know what's the word. It's just like they're, they're expecting everything to be the same. But you're like, right, we've not had it. And then so we're going to make do, we'll make some soup, you know, we'll uh, shorten down the menu, but we'll feed you, we'll feed you and whatnot. And then they'll, they'll still complain. It's just yeah. like... And it's like, You're are, like are you who, fucking, who are you people? How you know? stupid can you be? Like, there's like places in Glasgow, which is obviously a huge city, aren't getting deliveries. So how the fuck? There's like where you are is proper in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, go yeah. go to the middle of nowhere and then keep going for about another five miles, and <laughs> then you'll find Fraz's place. So how? Uh, yeah, you, you just yeah, was it you just stupidity. hear these people? They're like, oh yeah, oh um, we want steaks. You're like, well. We've not got steaks. We've, 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 uh, oh, that's very disappointing. You're like, right, okay. So the fact, as you said, red warning. Uh, red red weather, weather warning. warning <laughs> as you said, with the red weather warning, it's like, right, you're not supposed to go anywhere. We've uh, went up along these roads that are just, you know, undrivable, and we've got to work. You somehow made it. In. We've somehow made it in because these people are trapped on site. So we're like, right, we'll feed you. We'll feed you. And then they're just ungrateful like that. And you're just like, it's like why, why did you bother? bother? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the point? You know, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Should I say I'm sorry? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fucking arseholes. Big time. Big time. But um, it's, it's, it's... The thing is, obviously, you went in. You got a, a train back to Stirling, even though pretty much everything was cancelled. So I was amazed that you managed to do that. I was amazed there was a train, honestly. Yeah, I was amazed that you managed to get to work. Never mind get home. So you get to work. And then the next day, it's your birthday... <laughs> And the weather is ten times worse than it was. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you still end up going into fucking work. Yeah, so man. <laughs> that's what I call dedication right there. Yeah. Uh, no, well, got to do what you got to do, don't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, to me, a birthday is just a... Two things birthdays is. Birthday is just another day, but it's also an excuse to gather your mates and get wrecked. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> so, is that. Uh, my question to you... Have you been to a supermarket? Obviously, I know we went to see Wu there, but have you been to a proper supermarket? You said this to me the other day. Yes. Um, I haven't actually been to anywhere, like Tesco or, or Sainsbury's or whatever. It's insane. I've not, just not been for it's the like past few days. Probably insane. It's like you go in, you go to the bread section, all the bread's gone. You yeah. go around to the milk section, milk's gone, cream's gone. Most of the the meat section gone because yeah. these these people that think it's the apocalypse. I know oh, it's stop. so stupid. I mean, it must be really good for the these supermarkets. Though. Oh, it's not. 
It's not because they can't get there. No, because they've got to deal with uh, these these people that are like, oh, oh, uh, oh, this is terrible, this is appalling. You're like, well, s- supply and demand, really. I know. Exactly. <laughs> like, people buy, like, eight loaves of bread and stick it in their freezer. Like, oh, yeah. What? I don't understand what this thing about bread is. Like, <laughs> why does everyone need bread? <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> I was talking about work. Like, oh, we need loaves. We need loaves now. We, we need bread. <laughs> if we, we don't bread. have bread, we'll die. <laughs> You don't need bread. Yeah, but it's like, are you having bread for fucking breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yeah, I know. Like, what are you using? Like, the only time I'd ever have it is if I have a sandwich or, like, some toast or something. Yeah. I don't have it that often, so why the fuck is it such a, 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 a fucking desperately needed thing when there's a bit of uh, bad weather and it means you can't go anywhere? So, oh, we need bread! We need this! I don't know. What... I'd imagine pasta for me would be, like, the go-to thing. Cause that's Mine would like... be soup. Soup. Yeah. I'd say I'd probably go for something that's, like, bigger in your stomach i guess like I makes, if, unless it's like chunky soup then i would get it i suppose i suppose the argument is if, if you're working and you're doing stuff yeah then i would agree with your pasta but i suppose if you're just trapped inside a nice wee soup but yeah. for me a soup you yeah, need to cold. you'd yeah. need to make it yeah none of this tin yeah. Yeah, 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 absolute, stuff. oh really funny story about one of my mates actually and they said uh, oh i made a scotch broth today yeah, and I was like, you made Scots broth, like yeah. And to me personally, I hate Scots broth. Yeah, I'm you have to put, s- you have to put too s- thick. No, you have me. to put so much work into it. All oh, right, actually making it, you don't get much out of it. Yeah, it just, to me, it doesn't taste that nice. No, so, I would agree. So I was like, you went all that effort to make a Scots broth, and he goes, yeah. I was like, right, okay. How did you make this Scots broth? I opened the tin. I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 I was like, like you didn't make it you just reheated it i know it was made for you <laughs> it's made for you you asshole but uh suppose you need some bread to dunk in it but it needs to be the crispy stuff crispy bread oh yeah see that's one thing about the lighted unicorn yeah their soups are always great yeah they're like a pea and ham soup and then you get like one of their, yeah pea and ham soup and you get a little crusty roll that goes with it which gets like heat, heat up in the uh well heated oh, does up, it? Sorry. Heat up in the oven gets it a nice bit crisp oh. on it put a bit of butter on oh. it <laughs> dunk it in oh i might make a soup tonight i absolutely love it well yeah. i i'm kind of off my soups just now because my dad made uh like a ham hock soup yeah he makes a really good one so uh yeah i've been having that for the past couple of days which has been good yeah Kept me going if um but i'm kind of done with soup for now <laughs> soup for me it's is... a december thing for me it's like a december. christmas time yeah christmas time thing when it's really cold and you have a fire on and then it's freezing outside and the windows are fire iced oh. up and stuff that's one thing i miss from my parents yeah nice wee log fire yeah you can't oh, beat it you can't yes. beat it when you're cold an actual fire yeah was it the best is when uh when back in the days when when me and dylan were young we didn't uh we didn't have as soon as the internet went it was gone it was like we had our router we didn't have our our, our phones to th- <laughs> was it oh, mobile like to, data yeah, and all yeah. that we didn't have that so as soon as uh, since the the power went out the whole house went out yeah and if you're lucky enough to have a Get log, a log something. fire, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. just set by it. Yeah, I, there was a lot of times when I was in Aberfoyle that would happen, and it would just be you'd literally just sit, and the fire would be on the kitchen, and then you'd in have the your candles. Yeah, we had a fire in a kitchen. It was a really big sort of kitchen. I don't know if you do you remember that house? Um, yeah, I remember. I, I only remember the living room and briefly the kitchen. Yeah, because I remember you had a big dog. Yeah, it was a fire in the kitchen and the living room. Yeah, I remember the... There used to be one in what was sort of the dining room. In yeah. Fact, it was still there, but it just wasn't... You couldn't use it. Because the chimney, I think, was blocked up and stuff. No. Um, our parents used to... Any excuse to have that fireplace on. Yeah. Absolute any. Well, it's amazing we've got one here, actually. Like, yeah. Like, in the top... Uh, top flat of a... Of, like, a, an apartment building. It's pretty mental. Yeah. We have a fire. But, I mean, <laughs> we've got one. And uh, we had it on for uh, my birthday, I think it was. Oh! And you guys went to sleep and you had that big fire just there. No, was it, um... Oh, what was I going to say? Um, talking of the weather and whatnot, mm. the thing everyone's worrying about now is flooding. Yeah. Flooding now because, uh, obviously, all the else melts. Yeah. It's going to go on. I mean, Calendar, actually, is... Um, calendar which i went through has uh defrosted pretty well actually mm-hmm. if you want to see defrosted if that's the correct term yeah um <laughs> was it thawed out nice thawed out <laughs> uh, <laughs> thawed out and it's uh it's actually all right it's not actually fun i mean when you look at the snow a week ago you would just be like 
wow yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. gonna this is gonna be underwater yeah it's gonna take a while but that's the thing with canada it's quite um there's quite a lot of depths and stuff, especially where you are there's that big mass like well i say massive hill it's not that massive hill but if you're on your driving lessons or something that's like the one hill start in all of calendars just that one wee hill yeah just by your house so i imagine like when the the snow was melting it just come down there and then sort of create a wee basin no it does just below like the bridge and that bit so no um a nightmare for you i'd imagine yeah big time uh, <laughs> uh apparently there's people actually looking about so now but uh, yeah. uh apparently he's been knocking on everyone's doors and it's like nah, nah yeah, yeah. You're just like, nah, it's fine. Just sort of heating out first. <laughs> Must be freezing during these these cold times. Oh no, big time. Yeah. Big time. Okay, so here's a question for you. Okay. What's your views on people making a big deal out of nothing? People making a big deal out of nothing. Yes. So for, ex- so for example, so I come from a little small village town. Yeah. And uh, the, the difference between a village and a city is everyone in the village knows each other so they obviously they love the gossip they love talking blah blah i would excuse myself uh, excuse myself from that i i hate gossiping city obviously everyone just kind of keeps themselves to themselves and well you know your mates and all that but yeah. then you just kind of keep yourself there so it's not really as much gossiping so uh i was walking along and uh you know it's like you have to stop somewhere and then there's two people talking and then you're listening in on a conversation and it's just like they're making this huge deal they're making a huge story yeah but it's basically out of nothing so it's like oh yeah i had to go to the shop and uh, my bag ripped and whatnot but i was almost near the car but they'll make that sentence into 50 minutes massive yeah you're just like yeah what's your views on that well i think it's a skill (laughs) first and foremost to make something very minor into something bigger yeah and i feel that's kind of what we do here (laughs) <laughs> we do on this podcast yeah we, we come up with little things and we make them into big epic tales but no i know what you mean no, but it's more discussions you mean more people that are like uh they just like will take something very like you you didn't make them a cup of tea or something like that oh yeah then they go in a fucking mood for the rest of the day over it and they just go mental and they make it this big issue um i get a lot with work work mates i get that with work oh <laughs> one, one in particular <laughs> one in particular yeah well i get it with people they'd like if uh you didn't notice something or something like that and then they've done something you don't notice and you don't say thanks or whatever because you don't realize then they'll like make that into a fucking huge deal and they'll go speak to everyone else and they'll say stuff behind your back and it will build up to this big huge huge issue <laughs> which you're not even aware of <laughs> until it comes out of nowhere and then you're like oh yeah sorry about that and then, then that's it <laughs> yeah that's it over that's like end of story it's like oh fucking come on life's too short to to have that sort of have that sort of mindset where you're just you're just looking for things yeah. i think it's people that are bored that are more likely to do that yeah because yeah, they're looking for a bit of excitement so oh, what's, no, it, yeah. what's your what's, what was it your uh, one particular workmate does that oh. uh, really grinds your gears? I'm actually gonna say this. Uh, oh, that's just, uh, I've never heard this. No, you know. No, I'm not. Just uh, it's just the usual. It's just uh, you know, it's like uh, you're, you're standing there working away, and uh, you you obviously you're making sure you've got everything ready and whatnot. Yeah. And then it will just come in, and then just like you basically stands there trying to talk to you. I mean. I, uh, my view on work and talking is if you're working and you're talking, thumbs up, do it. I mean, yeah. that's what I mainly got in trouble for at school. It's like, you know, when it's like you're doing your work, your mate's doing your work, and you're just having a little giggle, and, oh, yeah. Yeah. and then you get shot down straight away. Yeah. That's why I, I got in trouble 110% of the time. Yeah. But uh, at work, one thing I notice is. When, you know when you're like you're talking to me and then you're getting in that and then you see someone else they want to talk to you yeah but you feel if you talk to them you're distracting them because you know they won't basically do, do yeah, yeah they yeah. won't get they won't get everything boxed up so like for example you notice the first day was in but then like say stuff like um, butters aren't made up you know yeah. you know uh, just like little small things like that a little bit behind and whatnot but they've been standing there and talking Stuff like that. But then you listen to some of the things that you're getting told and you're just like, 
I wouldn't have thought that because I wouldn't have thought that was interesting enough to say yeah, to someone yeah. else. So you're like, oh, have you ever thought about this? Blah, blah, blah. You're like, no, because I, I, no. <laughs> just, just distracting themselves. Yeah, was it? So he distracts Uninteresting yeah, topics. He, he distracts himself a lot of times, so it's just like I was just like, right, okay, I'll I'll leave you alone. Yeah. As much as sometimes it makes you look like a bit of a dick, but it's like a bit in their benefit and the business's benefit for them to just kind of get left alone to yeah, do the yeah, work. Yeah, to do what they're meant, what they're paid to do. Yeah, precisely. So. Yeah, I agree. If you're gonna speak and work, that's fine. Because oh, yeah. I know myself, if I start speaking, I'll my productivity will start dropping down. So a lot of times, especially when I first join a place, I won't really speak to anyone. No, no, yeah, you're trying to... Unless it's on break, then I'll speak a little bit. But I don't open myself up too much because I, 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 want, I focus on what I'm doing and, and try and get as good at it as I can. Yeah, I know. But then you'll get to the stage where you're like, right, okay, I know what, I'll know what I'm doing. And I can kind of have a bit of a chit-chat at the same time. Yeah. Because, I mean, you, you're normally working in, say used to work in warehouses and whatnot don't yeah. you so obviously if you're talking a lot of time you've got to you you're going from a, a to b yeah and if you're talking you normally have to kind of stop a little bit in, in between and just kind of say something yeah but i mean for example i'm in a kitchen so we're we're stationary yeah, while, we're, while we're prepping so yeah so even if someone goes to the back fridge you can kind of shout shout like a little comment or something yeah yeah a bit more banter there banter yes but it's not really going to affect your work if you if you know what you're doing oh if you know what you're doing yeah yeah, yeah if you've done something um, I mean you've been there for like 8 years or some shit and the rest <laughs> are you there since you're 18 then no actually uh, so I can't remember what did when I started um, so if that was 8 years I'd probably say yeah properly because um, there was a little period where I started and then uh, yeah you know, it goes into the quiet season. It's like, well, we don't really need you. So, you know, I kind of yeah. like disappear. So then later on, I was basically like, right, okay, cool. And then I got from local age one and a few more shifts. And then just from that point, then I just worked my way up. Yeah, just got yourself to where you are now. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's key. Um, right, okay. Little another little question. I may as well just keep firing these questions. Yeah. Uh, there's so much. No, there's only so much you can speak about the weather, isn't it? I mean, you can drone on about it, can't you? Yeah. Well, I think people, especially in britain i'm gonna be pretty sick of talking about it because it's it's just such an overblown thing like there's literally just showing videos of people going like oh i've had to i've had to clear my drive out all day today it's been terrible it's like who cares yeah like no one made this happen it was the weather <laughs> the weather made this happen no precisely <laughs> there was a storm that came in it's like oh it's, it's just a disgrace that all the snow's fallen it's like well what do you want to fucking do about it no um well, I, I can't stop it i like the whole uh there was the um, there's been cuts and whatnot so everything over here has been getting cut. The biggest one I notice is like police are getting cut, which is terrible if you ask yeah. me. You know, the ambulance service is not getting as much money as whatnot. And then there's all these people going, oh, we should be we should be doing more with, um, uh, was it, um, snow and floods and whatnot. Yeah. But they're like, well, there's so much you can predict, snow isn't it? It's stuff. more like predictions, isn't it? Yeah, but think about it. This is the first time end of this scale has happened since like 2010 2011 oh, that, was, that was bad yeah that was that was worse actually. yeah oh yeah yeah i remember i remember the lake of and teeth actually froze over and they were playing they were curling on it no and stuff way. like that yeah that's happened twice i mean it happened once in like 2001 i think it was yeah because uh, i remember it was at primary school and we were actually on the ice like on the lake walking across it well not in school weren't you? um i think school was can't remember. It must maybe in a weekend. I was still, I was really young though. Because uh, I've only been about seven or something at that point. No way in hell would teachers let you do that. Yeah. Well, no, my parents did though. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I yeah. Remember walking it's across, good. everyone was there. Like uh, one of the people we knew was driving a Land Rover across the lake. Oh, Dick. A Land Rover. Dick. Was well, it's almost like one guy takes it a little yeah. bit too far. Say, like, oh, we're on the ice now. He goes, oh, I can get my Land Rover. Like, good for you, mate. It didn't crack. That's the most amazing thing. It yeah. didn't actually break. Think about that, having a fucking Land Rover driving across I a frozen lake. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I, I would not feel I don't think of it as much things. You know when you just kind of like 100%, yes, right. you 100 <laughs> like trust all adults? Yeah. You know, they just believe whatever they say is true because they're adults and they must know. By the way, uh, just in case people are wondering, Dylan has been molested about six or seven times. <laughs> 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 just trusted adults. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I was like, where is it going with this? Uh, that is actually not a correct fact. It's only four times. <laughs> 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 they use the M word. I was like, I was wondering who we were going to offend this time. It was, uh, 
Molested people. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? Here we are. That was that came from France. That didn't even come from me. I'm getting I mean, worse and worse as this goes. I know. Um, last time it was like French people and No, uh, you you were French. Oh was I? Yeah. Uh, I just hey, brought, don't call me French. I just brought up dick. the whole point of everyone being under one banner. Yeah. Which then I accidentally used the Nazis all the time. Yeah, you, ins <laughs> you insulted fucking Nazis. Oh my god, that's oh, a terrible thing. Insulting to do. Nazis is not the worst yeah, thing yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we got about five minutes left. I think we're gonna do a we we'll just do 45. Yeah, we're going to do another sort of shorter one today. Just uh, taking on board the other comments and the fact that it's only the Two Guys podcast today. So uh, yes. hopefully next week we're going to have um, some of our esteemed guests on. Yes. In fact, you know, I can pretty much guarantee we'll have at least one of them. Yeah. So yes. I think it might be Omar. If not, we're, we've got Grafano. I think, if, I think Omar, if it's Omar, it could be a little bit earlier. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I think it probably will be over. But uh, to sort of wrap things I don't up want, slowly. I don't want to say this is obviously the end of Andrew because I would say it's not. So hopefully we're going to get him back in. Yeah, I think it'll be more in a rotational base yes. now. It's uh, if he can make it in, then great. But uh, three weeks in a row. Yeah. So we've got to kind of we got to take steps to make sure we have uh, three people on because it's great just us two talking away but I mean I think the uh, the conversations are much more entertaining when there's a third perspective um, so we'll keep that in mind we'll be prepared next time just just in case situations don't allow Andrew to be in so if he is then fantastic if he isn't then uh, we should have a backup lined up and we'll have a bit more of a rotational basis uh, so we'll, we'll speak to Andrew and uh, we'll see what we can do and try and Try and get the three guys podcast back as the three guys yes. podcast, <laughs> even if it's the two guys plus a rotational guest podcast, uh, as long as there's three of us. Because obviously we've now had nearly half of our episodes have been two guys. Yeah, because uh, we're three that. three episodes in uh, doing this, which is no one really blame there. But um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But anyway, it's, it's Fraz's birthday party on Friday. Yes, and uh, it's going to be a fucking epic, Ugh. epic. <laughs> night it's yes. uh i've uh, we're, we've got a bunch of things planned out uh, yeah i'm a bit worried about that you yeah, know but... it's like we've got uh we've got loads of things it's like you know when it's like we're chucking in ideas chucking in ideas we're just chucking them in we're you not know? rejecting anything yeah we're that's just, what I'm we're just like, taking them all like, yeah we'll do that we'll do that we'll and do uh, that. we're actually gonna have to start a night at like five o'clock or four o'clock yeah. we're gonna have to go to dinner at like four o'clock or five o'clock just to fit in everything we want to do yeah no we want to play um we want to um Want to sit down and have a really good meal, whatnot, karaoke, some plum wine, plum wine, Nanakusa. Oh, yeah, Nanakusa. You and uh, Griffin get your first taste of sushi. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, was it? Um, me and Griffin made a pact we we're gonna try sushi together, and uh, we've stuck by it. By Joe, we're gonna do it. We're gonna yeah, do it. You're gonna do it. Do it live. You're gonna fucking love it as well. Cause sushi kicks ass. Okay, so especially from Nanakusa. I know it's a weird. Sponsored by Nanakusa. I know it's a, <laughs> that's a weird <laughs> thing to say. I'm 26 and never tried sushi. Yeah. Think about it. But, uh, there's but you that. need a pact for your friends, so you, you've you had the opportunity. But yeah. a, pinky pro a pinky promise should never be broken. Yeah. Never. Fraz the man of his word. Man of my word. <laughs> uh, there's that karaoke. Um, Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, was I think everyone else is raving about that. I'm not too sure about that one, but yeah, we can do really? it. Yeah. All right, I was quite buzzing about it. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Cards Against Humanity. Cards Against Humanity. We cannot speak this one. We can't. We cannot speak this one. Tongue twisters. Cards <laughs> against humanity. We mm -hmm. can. Um, it's good, but uh, after a it's while, good. after a while, if you've seen all the cards, yeah, you know, you're, you're a bit like. Well, you've not seen any, I guess. So, yeah, you'll get that. You'll have that. Obviously, there'll be me, and Omar, and Greg. I'm sure if we're drinking, oh, we're drinking, yeah, it'll we're be fine. funny. And we're we're gonna get, probably get a couple of bottles of that plum wine at Nanakusa. So even when we're eating and not maybe drinking, I think we'll already be on a buzz. Yes. And then we'll have some Ring of Fire, which is a classic student uni game. Oh. It's an incredibly fun it's, game. It's so fun, but it's just that, that pressure of just... It's of getting the, the final king. Yeah. Um, I said that to Andrew and Yana when I last saw them actually about it, and they were like, oh God. It was like a yeah. dirty pint in the middle. I was like, yeah, it's brutal. It's brutal if you lose it. I've played, I've played it. I've played it three times, if I remember right. And I'm trying to think. I think, I'm sure Graham... I'm sure Becca had it once. I'm sure Omar had it twice. I yeah. Think. yeah Omar I think had... that's true, yeah. Yes. Because uh, I, what did we do last time? I changed the rules or something. There was three of us. And then I think I said, I don't have to. Oh, that was the first game. So, uh, 
Oh, was it me, uh, me Dylan, Omar? Uh, and there was uh, one king. Griffin was there. One king and three cards. Or four cards. Was Beck up there for the first one? I don't think she was. But, <coughs> uh, I think she might have been. Oh, well. Um, basically, it came down to the last cut. Um, I think it was just me, you. And Omar. Yeah. And, At the end. I think it was just the four of us. Yeah. I might have been. But anyway, so it came down to the last, um, the last four cards. Yeah. And um, Jax, for people who don't know, you can, was it Jax changed... I think Jack changed Jack's, the rule. Yeah. Jack changed the rules, I think. and this was uh, so Dylan picks this card, and there's four of us, and this is the last four cards. What you know what it was actually? There was oh. four of us. There's me, then you to my right, then Griffin, then Omar, and I got one of the last three, uh, last four cards. So there's yes. three cards left. So I was out of the game basically. Griffin had made a rule that he didn't have to drink the dirty pint if he got the king. Yes. And I changed that rule with my last thing. I said all other rules are gone. So he, no, it was me that said it. It was me that played it because I I was at the point where I was like, if I have this pint, I'm gonna spew. Yeah. So I was like, right, it's a waste of a card. But I think I put another rule. I think I put two rules down because I was yeah. like, right, I'm not having the pint, and blah blah blah. And then you oh, yeah, removed the, the, all rules. Yeah, <laughs> with the last three ones. And then, yeah, Fraz was like sitting there protected. The last three cards didn't have to drink it. I'm on top got, of the world. I'm got, safe. And I just went. Well, I'm going to make this rule that all other rules are now gone. And he's like, oh no. Followed up with a yes. 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 <laughs> and it, Fraz, so just a betrayal. I'm just like, like, right. No. Oh no. It's my go. I can't get this king. Three cards. Three you know? cards. One of them's. <laughs> Picked it up. This is the only time I'm glad to see the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. only time the I'm like, time. waterfall. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> waterfall is the one that always gets me on that game. Yeah. Because it's always the guy right next to me who gets it. And then it goes all the way around. And little boy Fraz is at the bottom of the waterfall. Yeah, just <laughs> waiting for the last person to stop drinking. So you can... I think, what's it? if I remember right, in that same game, uh, I think um, I finished my drink. And then uh, <laughs> you got, got, I said, oh, double body and lemon or something. And I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Things over. I took a sip. Couldn't taste it. So I made it like put four it's... shots in there. <laughs> and then I took a sip. Like, oh, that's strong. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so I'm, I'm waterfalling that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, uh and then I think I can't remember what Griffin got. I think Griffin pulled the card. Griffin's like probably like, ah. yeah, and he missed it. it played is. the card and that, and then uh, the card's sitting there for Omar. Omar's just like, shit. Yeah, and he <laughs> turned it over that inevitability, and he had to drink this horrible dirty. I pint. think that's the worst dirty pint I've seen, and he had to. Yeah, they had like Guinness in it and stuff as well. That not, or it had something disgusting. It was like milky looking and had vo- it was horrible. Yes, horrible dirty pint. No fucking, the worst I, I, I remember. The worst. I remember just sitting there. Mad and dog like, and Bucky. I think it was, it was filled with shit. Actually, was it? That, that's another. Was it uh, another one? Actually, was went to cat house that night. Yeah. And uh, probably got cat house in front as well. Oh maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe good old yeah. cat house. Karaoke. And we were on the we were up on the dance floor, kind of that was the area we were at and whatnot. And uh we were drinking away and whatnot. And then I looked down and I was seeing a set of keys and I was like Yeah, that was, I, was mental. I was like, oh fuck. Identical to my keys. And I was like, oh fuck, my keys are falling out. Picked up my keys, put yeah. in my pocket and whatnot, right? When we went back and whatnot, after good night, good night, uh, went back and went back, sat there, opened up my bag. And I found my keys, and I was like, oh, shit, I found someone else's keys. Yeah, you've taken them I was like, oh, shit. Now, the best bit was Omar was like, oh, I fucking lost my keys. Yeah. And I was like, are these your keys? Yeah. Like, you mean yes. these keys? He's like, oh, my God, yes. I was like, that was a one in a fucking million that his keys look exactly like mine, and I just wanted to find it. It is pretty mental when that, is. that happening, you've... Yes. <laughs> Found a random set key. And then I'm pretty sure Joey lost his glasses but didn't get it back for like a week no, later. No. It's like under the stage or no, something. No, no, Joey didn't get it back, right? But uh, he was in Glasgow the week after. Still yeah. no confirmation. Went home. Got a confirmation that they found it. Really? Unbelievable. Said, oh, you can come and collect it. Who? <laughs> uh, <I'm laughs> <goddamn it. laughs> anyway, I think that's all the time. We, we went four minutes over what we said, but that's all right. Makes up for our only 40 minutes last week. Yes. So we got our five minutes back. Yes. Um next time we're who knows who's going to be on next week can't say andrew can't say he won't be though but regardless we will have stories of uh fraz's birthday night out which uh, as you've heard should be a pretty fucking messy one. Uh, it should be an event for one yeah, yes there should be stuff going on so i'm looking forward to that uh until then we are three guys podcast i'm well, dylan 
Well, three guys, podcast, but two, two, two people. Two, <laughs> two, with two guests. With two guests. <laughs> yes, anyway, and uh, that's me for us. And we will see you guys next week. Peace.